Matt Rempe's become this season's biggest NHL cult hero. This guy has one goal to his name and averages between 5 and 7 minutes of ice time a night, yet post-game interviews of guys who fought against him are getting hundreds of thousands of views. From the MetLife Stadium rookie lap, to the center ice discussions at warm-up, to the fun-loving interviews, to even just the size, this guy's basically become a household name in less than two weeks. I love this tweet Jeff Merrick put out. The new cult hero in New York is 6 foot 8. The one in Dallas is five foot eight. He's of course talking about Logan Stankoven of the Dallas Stars. This guy's taken a completely different route to get to cult hero status, and honestly, I'm a little reluctant to call him that because this guy's so highly skilled that I think he's just going to straight up be a star player. I kept a close eye on this guy when he played for Kamloops in the WHL, hoping the Flames could draft him even in the second round. Nope, Dallas is the one who was smart enough to grab this kid. And I know there was a small portion of Flames fans who were hoping that he was the prospect involved in the Tanev deal. That was just never realistic. This guy's not going anywhere. Except back and forth from the AHL to the NHL like a yo-yo. Seriously, Stars fans, how many times has this guy been called up and set back down to the AHL in the past week? It feels like every time I open Twitter, I see Logan Stankoven has been called up to the Dallas Stars. Welcome to the end. Oh, Logan Stankoven has been alone to the Texas Stars which is honestly playing into the cult hero status because he's coming up to the NHL playing great and almost teasing the fans with how good he can be and then poof he's gone leaving the fans wanting more. We saw it last night against Winnipeg. He's this little ball of energy, never quits on the puck and you can tell he wants to be there so bad. That entire shift from him leading up to the goal was just remarkable. He also just seems like a really fun, charismatic dude. Like he is becoming a fan favorite and more well known across the league but if this story was unfolding in Toronto or Montreal, this guy would be everywhere. He's not just a ball of energy though, he's also a really smart player. On his second NHL goal a couple nights ago against Colorado, he opens up a lane and space for himself by lifting Kale McCarr's stick. I know it doesn't look like much because McCarr recovers, but it's that extra second that it takes McCarr to recover because Stankoven lifted his stick that allows the lane to be open for Johnston. That's what allows the pass to get to him and a great finish. And we saw it again yesterday, he's so hungry for the puck, he's got so much energy, strips in the neutral zone, but then it's time for the skill and the hockey IQ to take over. I love this, does the famous Crosby Mohawk pivot to maneuver his way to the middle of the ice, almost is like a distraction to get the two Winnipeg defenders drawn over to him and it opens up Wyatt Johnston. Now I know he's not actually trying to distract the defenseman, he's just moving to space, scanning, looking for lanes, but he's so dynamic in doing so that it works to his advantage in that way. He's been a ton of fun at the NHL level and it's funny because as I'm recording this video, the Stars again loaned him back to the AHL. GMs always have cap gymnastics and filling roster spots, managing injury timelines, that's why we're seeing him yo-yo like this. But with the way he's played, he'll definitely be back in the NHL. And honestly, he's effective no matter where you put him. I mean, he's got three goals in four NHL games. He's second in the entire AHL in scoring. I think he's going to be a big part of the star's core going forward, which is why I'm a little bit reluctant to call him a cult hero. I think he's going to be more than that, but the wacky way in which his NHL career has started and what he's done in the NHL games he's played in, yeah, I certainly understand calling him that right now. Especially when your team's official Twitter page is calling it Short King Spring. I'm excited to see him back up with the Stars. He's been a ton of fun to watch, even back to when he was playing with the Blazers. Give me your thoughts. If you want more Stars videos, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. You're awesome.